Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, why do we like spicy foods? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. Let's start by looking at why some foods taste spicy in the first place. Weird as it sounds, despite that fiery sensation on your tongue, there is no actual physical burn taking place. Capsaicin, the most prominent of the chemical molecules responsible for making you feel like you just gargled napalm, works by activating pain receptors in your tongue, specifically ones that your brain ties to temperature. The end result is that your brain perceives your tongue as melting, even though no real damage is actually being done. So, technically speaking, the pain is all in your mind. But in that case, why does it mess up my stomach? Spicy foods give you diarrhea because the chemical compounds causing the sensation of heat don't get broken down by the digestive process. Because of this, they irritate the lining of your intestines, so your body tends to want to expel it as fast as possible. Which you experience as a case of the runs. But if that burning sensation in my mouth was really all in my mind, why does it also burn on the way out? You get the infamous ring of fire because your anus and rectum are lined with similar cells to those in your mouth. When those undigested chemicals hit the pain receptors there, your brain once again experiences a strong, and in this case, much more unpleasant, burning sensation. Okay, now we know all that, why the heck do we even eat spicy foods anyway? Why do we enjoy food that hurts? According to research at the University of Pennsylvania, The pain is part of the reason we enjoy it. It causes your brain to release a bunch of endorphins, the body's natural painkillers, as well as dopamine, the body's natural feel-good chemical, meaning that once the pain has subsided a little, you actually feel pretty great. That said, they're almost certainly an acquired taste. If spicy foods are eaten from a very young age, both the appreciation and tolerance for these foods is going to be much higher. Also, some people are just more into it than others. There is research that shows that People with a thrill-seeking personality, like those who like roller coasters or skydiving, for example, are far more likely to enjoy the rush that comes with eating spicy food. Is it true that spicy food is good for a cold? It might seem that way at first, since it can cause your nose to run. So if you're very congested, it might provide some temporary relief. But it is temporary. Spicy foods cause your body to produce histamine, which causes the tissues to swell up and in the long run, make you even stuffier. So, what's the spiciest thing out there, and would I want to eat it? I very much doubt it. The record for the hottest chili is being broken fairly often these days, and even the infamous Carolina Reaper has already been bested by a British-grown pepper, aptly named the Dragon's Breath. Clocking in at 2.4 million Scoville units, the units used to measure chili heat, it is over 900 times hotter than your basic jalapeno and the literal equivalent of throwing back a shot of pepper spray. Oh god, I need the bathroom just thinking about it. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products. (laughs) 